I've done two coats of varnish now and I'm waiting for the second one to dry. And I've been cutting out my mounts. I've got a full set of everything here. So going on the back is the plywood. Above that, a sheet of foam. Then two mounts to give it some depth. And then the perspex, it's just got to cover on at the moment. So now I need to mount my objects. I'm going to do the anemone first because I think the fossil might need a little bit more sanding off the back. I'm going to mark the centre of the foam. I'm going to make some small hooks out of this wire, similar to this one, but without the end spread. Um, just going to twist them together and fold it over, stick that through, three of those, actually four of those. Um, hook them into the anemone and pull it through. And I'm thinking of gluing them into the back of the anemone as well. to make them four inches so that I've got more than I need. I don't think I'm short of wire and I can trim it off later. I think I'll do one first before cutting them all to check that gives me a decent, decent size hook. Folded it in half. Just going to twist it with some jewellery pliers, a uh, curved nose, needle nose as well, curved nose. one. Plenty of spare wire there I would say. So I'll do the rest the same. doing the twists to give it some strength but on the end I'm leaving a flat loop so there's a bit more surface area to contact with the anemone. This is coated wire so it doesn't need anything adding to it. I'm trying to keep everything inside the mount acid free, solvent free so that it doesn't do any harm to the contents. So I've got an acid free glue for gluing these to the back of the foam once they're through and I've got some small washers to put behind the wire to stop them pulling when I split the end, split the two legs and I've painted those with a little bit of hammerite paint to, uh, to make sure that they don't rust. I've got a braddle to make the points, to make the holes in the foam Just need to measure the hole in the anemone. It's got a slight tear to one side, but it's 10 mil diameter, then the longer end is 12. So if I make a hole about 9 mil, two holes, 9 mil between them. And then another one, 
four and a half up and then six and a half down to account for the split. Just check the concept before I do anything else. So the idea is that they all hook and they can just twist into place. Right, I think it might be time to be brave and commit to some glue. I'm just going to rest this on the top of the pot. Very nearly finished these now. It's pretty much time to put them together. I was running out of time to get them finished, so I've used a table saw and a chop saw to cut these six mil pie, uh, six mil pine sheets, which are my spacers in between my foam and mounts and my perspex at the front. So they will go in. I will just give them a quick sand down at the edges. Thing so that they don't um, drop any bits of sawdust into the mount because it will be sealed. Still in my work clothes so I can just wipe them off on the trousers much easier. I've just used a bit of sellotape around my hand to get rid of the to get rid of the dust and bits and all sorts of dirt on the foam. And as you can see, my ammonite mounted quite nicely, fairly solid. I'm quite happy that will stay put now. So I will take my finished mount, invert it. And the first thing to go in is the perspex. I have it marked for the top. It's got a cover on it, which I've left on up till now. So I will peel that off, both sides. And now I need to glue my spaces in. The top and bottom ones, I've got the full width and the side ones are to fit in between them, just in case if over time the glue weakens, uh, the top one won't fall down because it's held in by the side struts. So I'll put the top and bottom one in first, let the glue dry, clamp it down and then Come back and glue the sides. I've done a dry fit of this all already to test that I can fit all my pieces in and that the plywood is, I've got it just very slightly raised at the back so I can push it down, got some waste timber so that I can clamp it on. Make sure it's pushed down. The last main thing I have to do before assembling everything and finishing it all off 
is to mount the ammonite. So I've got everything I need. I've got some strips of wire, pliers and my glue and the plywood back and a bradle. So I'm going to do what I experimented with before and when I cut the fossil originally I ran a hacksaw blade round which was made a groove and that isn't actually where I ended up splitting it so the hacksaw groove is very helpful for running the wire round. It's only possible to get it so tight by hand if I take the pliers and keep on twisting. I will also glue it in place for extra reinforcement. It's pretty tight. I'll do the same with the other two um, 90 degrees round. When I found the fossil, it was attached to quite a large chunk. Those were together and the fossil was on the top of that. Had quite a large, oh, sorry that way around, had quite a large round on the back. But I've used a file, sandpaper and a machine sander and got it smooth enough so that I can mount it flat and also glue it down. I'll glue the wire down onto the fossil before before I put the wire through the foam and glue that to the back. Back to my serious glue. I'll allow that to set slightly before I put it on the phone. The glue around the edge of the wire is dry enough now that I can put it through the foam. As before, I'm just going to find the centre point so my mounting is in the right place. fossil on top in the manner that I want it orientated and then I'm just going to poke holes through the foam so that I can put my wire through and fasten it down. through those. Okay, they're all centred so I'm going to put a big dollop of glue on the back of the fossil. I suppose I could have done that first. So that the wire doesn't pull through the foam when I pull it tight, I've got these little washers which I've painted with hammerite so that they don't rust. And separate the wire and snip it off, glue it down and clamp it to the plywood. I 
thought this would be the harder of two objects to mount, but it's actually proved quite a lot easier than the smaller one. I've got my plywood ready, so I'll just run the glue to the edges of the wire. This is the top of my plywood, so I'll make sure that corresponds to the top of the fossil. It's got a natural curve on it, which gives it a weightier bottom, so I'll have it that way around. And I'll just centre centre the foam on the plywood. <coughs> 